Hey you guys, this is Aaron Hilliard from Mushroom Wonderland. I'm a mycology educator here in Kitsap County, Washington. And I was tipped off by somebody on the internet about some black trumpet mushrooms growing right here in Western Washington. So it's sort of a rare mushroom. And John Martin reached out to me after I sent him a message on Facebook. He said, I could come look at the black trumpets that are growing here uh, near the Hood Canal, right at sea level. So it's been folklore my whole life that there are black trumpets around here, a secret patch of them here or there that the old timers know about, and they keep it a really locked and guarded secret. But I had an opportunity to go out and look at and photograph some of these mushrooms, these beautiful black trumpet mushrooms that dry really well. They're delicious, a great edible mushroom. They're really, really popular. And this collection that I got to look at actually is only the 13th observation on iNaturalist of them occurring in Washington State. But I just wanna debunk for everyone's eyes to see that there are black trumpets. We're gonna be right on the Hood Canal, about sea level in a conifer forest where you might expect to see chanterelles or lobster mushrooms. And here are a bunch of black trumpet mushrooms, Craterellus calicornicopioides. Try to say that three times fast. But make sure to hit subscribe and then let's go check out these black trumpet mushrooms. They are so cool and so delicious. So let's go. So right down here in this little stand of evergreens is a unique find for the Kitsap Peninsula around where I live. These are black trumpets and some people call it like the trumpet of the dead because they thought that, you know, there was like buried little fairies or something under here and these are their trumpets. But um, probably Craterellus calicornicopioides or the, the black cornucopia. It is a choice edible and pretty rare in this area. So it was exciting. Somebody, um, tipped me off from Facebook and come let me see these on their property. And uh, these are an amazing edible mushroom, a mycorrhizal mushroom that grows with the trees. If you go to the Wikipedia article about this mushroom, it'll say that it associates with vaccinium. But I actually got on the phone, got a hold of David Aurora, the guy who described this mushroom back in 2015. Could it possibly be associating with vaccinium with these um, evergreen huckleberries that we have growing here. And he said, not a chance. These don't have mushrooms that associate with them that we're familiar with. You know, they probably have fungi, but no mushrooms associate with the vaccinium. So he confirmed just Douglas fir, these big Doug firs with the really furrowed bark and the soft needles. Um, these are probably the mycorrhizal host. So look for your Doug fir forest. Other observations that I've looked at online also have forests similar to this. So if they're not grown with oak or tan oak down in California, all of these observations from Western Washington are, are uh, Douglas fir. So when I shot this video, it was on private property. These people were kind enough to let me come in and take photos and get a sample of the mushrooms, but I didn't really want to impose and like show too much of their private property. So I came just like less than a half a mile away from where the black trumpets were found to a forest that looks exactly like where they're growing, literally just less than a half a mile from where I'm standing right now. So I wanna show you this habitat because this is really typical habitat for a second growth forest here in Western Washington. This is exactly what the habitat looks like where the black trumpets were growing. So let's check this out. So if we look around, there's kind of a mixture of Western red cedar, Douglas fir. And so this sort of habitat where it's sort of open, I mean, like any second I'm expecting to see like a nice fruiting of black trumpets here but you know i don't know probably not going to happen i've never seen them in this area before but now i won't be able to stop looking as i look over here i see some mushrooms and these guys are actually closely related to the black trumpet same genus so craterellus tubeformis or neo tubeformis growing here in western washington and uh, these are a really good edible as well. But where you see these craterellus growing, you know, you might as well be seeing the black craterellus as well. So um, these are fairly common in these woods. And so it's getting my hopes up more and more that others in this genus, craterellus, are growing together. These are great ones that'll be collected for the basket. They're not the black trumpets, but you could call these gold trumpets.
I was able to get just a little bit more than a DNA sample and I was able to make a little bit of cream cheese dip for these black trumpets to put on French bread. So I'm gonna finish off this video with this recipe. You can see me cook up this uh, black trumpet dip and it'll make your mouth water. All right, I'm gonna try some of the black trumpet dip. It's been baked with Parmesan cheese and the cream cheese, put a little on the French bread like that. It's a little bit hot. It's really, really good. It's really super rich with the cream cheese and then savory with the garlic and the chives, the artichokes and the mushrooms. So a uh, recipe that you definitely wanna try, the artichoke black trumpet dip. Surprising to see huge fruiting of black trumpets here in Western Washington. Only the 13th observation ever on iNaturalist in Washington State, so pretty exciting one. So if you are like me and you thought that this is like folklore, no, the black trumpets do exist here in Western Washington, in the Puget Sound, in the Pacific Northwest. So you just gotta get out there, get into the right habitat. And it's just not that unusual of habitat. So, you know, hopefully you run across them sooner than later. And I hope to see you on the next video. Much love everyone, peace out.